In this video, you are going to be learning how to create a new repository, how to create a folder on your local machine, and how to push that project to your repository online. So let's get started. I'm going to start with my local system first. So I'll go to my folder uh, and then create a new folder here. So let's go ahead and create a new folder. I'll call it. I'll call it um, Git Class. So in this folder, I'm going to, this is my project now. This is the project I'm working on. You can see I have other projects here, but this is the one I want to work on right now. Uh, so let's open up this project using VS Code, which is a te my choice text editor. So a new instance of VS Code, new window. I'll make it small so you can see uh, both it and my folder. And then I can come here to attempt to open that project folder. So let's open Git class here. Now, because I, I am on a MACD and I, I have some permission set for folders and so on, so I'm going to have to change the permission on my own folder. If you don't have this problem, that's fine. But if you have the problem, you can you have to do this. So get info, and in here, you can uh, edit the permission. I click on the uh, the padlock icon here, then change my permission to read and write for everyone and then make it apply to every file inside that folder. So I'll say that, okay, and then lock the folder back. So let's close that, and the project, the folder should be available for files now. So I'm going to create a new file, I'll call it uh, index.js. JS means JavaScript. And in here, I'm going to say console.log. This is a JavaScript file. Alright, so let's assume that my project is now being prepared locally. I have my uh, computer ready. I have my project ready on my computer. So let's go back to our GitHub account and create a new repository. You can do that from here. The plus icon here, just create a new repository from there. I'm going to call it git class v1. It stands for version 1. I'm going to say the description. This is just a sample git class uh, repository I'll make it public now you can make if a project public or private public means anyone that comes to your profile can see them private means only those you give access can see them right under here you are being asked if you want to initialize your project with any of these file, files I would ask that you don't worry about it for now we might still talk about it later but you can obviously still read about it there are some information about them and you can learn more about them here so let's go ahead and create the project And now I have two folders not connected to one another. I have my folder on the cloud in the cloud. My folder name here is called Git Class V1. And then I have my folder on my computer and it's called just Git, Git Class. Now, this is important for you to note. The name I use for my folder here does not matter. I don't have to use the same, the same name here. It will still work uh, the same way it's supposed to work. Uh, now let's look at the instructions we have been given here. It says if you already have uh so this instruction here is for is for if you if you have a project on your machine that you want to push to this folder you can follow this which is what we have um okay and this one says if your project already has git enabled is already git enabled which our project is not yet git enabled it says if your project is already git enabled, you can follow this instruction. So these are the two important things here, but we'll be following this one for now. So let's go back to our project. Uh, my VS Code, this is my project. I'm going to open up my terminal, which is a command prompt on a Windows PC. Let's make this a little bigger so it's clearer to see. Okay. And here I'm going to check if I have git installed. Yes, I do. I just typed git and it gave me all this information. If you don't want to see all of this uh, information, you can do something that gives you less information like uh, git version. And you see it tells me I have this version of git installed. So that's the first thing you should do. Check if you have git installed. I will still be showing you how to install git. Uh, for Mac is you have to 
uh, download Xcode and install that. That should bring along Git with it. For uh, Windows PC, you can download Git easily and install it for your Windows machine. So let's clear this terminal so that we can have a clean slate to work with. Now, the first thing I need to do is to locate this folder using my terminal. So I need to navigate to this particular folder using my terminal. To do that, I need to check the current location that I am in. To do that, I'll do ls. ls means like I'm trying to list everything inside this current folder. And what do I have? I have all these folders. I, I could call them subfolders inside this main folder. So in this list, you can see our project here, which is where my project is. So what you need to do is to locate where your projects are or where your project is and navigate there using command prompt. So to go to that project, I'll do a CD. CD means change directory and I'll go into projects. So now I've gone from where I was into projects. So I'm now inside the project folder, which is this folder you see right here. So if I do a LS again, which is to list every item inside a folder, you see every project I have here, the same list that I have here. Now I want to go into my Git class, the project I'm working on. So I'll do a new CD, change directory or change folder, Git class. Now I'm inside this Git uh, folder, which is where I want to be. So I can close this now and I can list everything here. It's my index.js file. So let's clear directory again, uh, clear our terminal again. I like having it clean so it doesn't look so busy. Now I, I am inside where I'm supposed to be, the Git class project. Let's now follow the instructions here. It says echo this readme. This is like trying to create a readme file, which we are going to ignore again for now. We are going to be starting from here. So git init means I'm informing, I'm telling my git, uh, the git installed on my own computer that I want this normal folder, which is just a normal computer folder right now to become a git a git folder so it means i'm initializing git inside this folder so i'm going to do git in it and that says i have initialized this empty git repository I'm, I've, I've basically turned this particular folder into a git enabled folder which means i have added uh this insider folder again don't worry about that but i've just been able to convert this to a git folder if you look at the file here Everything is still the same except that this file name is now green, meaning it is it is ready to be saved into Git. So don't worry about that again for now. Let's just go on with what we are doing. So I have initialized Git, and then it says I can add README, but we are not going to be doing that. What we are going to be doing is to add the file that we already have created here. So like what I've said earlier. This green color that you see now is, is just basically saying this file is ready to be saved. It's ready to be added to the git um, enabled folder. So it's just there. It's, it has not been added. So I'm going to do key status. Key status helps me to check the files that I have unsaved to my git version control system. So this file has not been saved even though it is ready to be saved. So git status can help you to see if there is anything left to be saved that, so that you don't lose your work. So let's go ahead and save that. I'm going to say git add. Once I do that, uh, and then do a git status again, you'll see that this file has now been recognized by git. Again, I'm, I'm doing, I'm explaining this in a very easy, the easiest way I can explain. Uh, so. Uh, I'm not trying. I'm not. I'm, I'm trying to avoid using any technical terms. So this file is now ready. It it, it has now been um, added to our Git um, versioning system, and now Git recognizes it, and it is available to be saved and pushed to the cloud. So again, if you want to unsave something, you can follow this um, uh, instruction here, or you can do a Git reset, and then another Git status would show me that that file is now again back to uh, its red state rather than green so the three commands we have learned now is git init we have learned git status which is to check the files that are ready to be saved we have learned git reset which is to unsave some file unsave every file and actually you can decide to unsave a single file so git 
preset index.js will do exactly the same thing. So again, we have we have, we have learned git init, git status, git reset. Uh, git reset can be used for a single file or multiple files or all the files in the folder. And we have also learned git add. So git add can be used for a single file like this. So if I do another git status, you see that that single file has been saved. So let's reset that again. So I can show you how you can do every file in a folder. I can do a git add for every file in this folder if I had multiple files. And this would do the same thing uh, that this did. I, I really hope this is clear. So I'll do it, another git status. And you can see that file is ready to be pushed to the cloud. So let's go back here. And it says after adding the file, you need to commit the file. So what we have done is we have said, oh, let's take this file and prepare it to be pushed to the cloud. So it's like there is a staging area for all the files to that are ready to be pushed to cloud. When you do a git add, hold on, I'm going to clear this again. And then do a git reset. So I'll go over that concept again. Then again, clear. So we have a git status to check what files we have unsaved. We have this file unsaved. And then I can do a git add that single file to get it ready for git. So what this actually does, git add, is to add this file to this git staging area, which is the preparation area for every file you want to send to the cloud. So git add means I am moving this file. So let's do another git status or status. I'm moving, I've moved this file to the staging area. You see, it now says if you want to unstage this file, then you can do whatever you want. So to unstage it, that's why I do a git reset. That means I'm saying, oh, this file is not ready yet. Let's take it out of the staging area. So git reset index.js would remove that file from the staging area. And as you can see, that's what you have here. So clear. Again, I'll go over it. Git add adds the file. Okay, status, check if the file has been added. It has been added because it's green. And then git. And then the next thing we now are, are about to do is to have, commit that file to the staging area. So this is the actual saving of the file. What you have done is to prepare the file to, for the staging area. So when you say commit, means everything currently in that staging area would be permanently saved and ready to be deployed to the cloud storage uh, platform. So let's do that now. Do a git commit. M here stands for message. Like I showed you in my profile uh, earlier, when you when you see all of the uh, things I have in my in my project, I attach a message to them. So that message helps me to know at what point in this particular project uh, this changes were done. So you can say I have touches here, that's the message attached to that. I have complete here, that's the message attached to that. So what that does is allows you to give a clear message to this current state of your project. So what message will you have here? I will say first push to git up. So anyone that you invite to this project knows that at this current position, this was the first time this project was pushed to git up. Of course, I could add something more reasonable and say um, basic index file created with a console, uh, sorry, a console message. So this seems more descriptive actually, and then I can say first deployment, something like that. So again, just make sure you use something that helps whoever is going to join you to work or even for yourself that helps you to understand at the current version, the current state of the project at this point. So I'm going to say enter and then you see all this information came out and then now we are ready to do push to uh, the GitHub um, platform. Now, because this is a new project, we need to identify the branch we are pushing to. I already explained what branches are. But every GitHub repository has at least one branch, which will serve as your main branch. And that's why the name is main. So to do that, we have to do git branch m. This is saying my main branch is main. And that has been done. You should get no errors or anything here. So to check the branch now, you can do a git branch. And then it tells you you are in 
the main branch so this is a new command we've learned how to git status git add git commit we've learned how to uh how to do some other git information this git branch helps you to check your current branch so again git branch shows you the branch you are working with now that that has been done we can then go ahead to say right so take this my so this particular command here is saying i want to link i'm going to use that word link i want to link this my local git folder to my um cloud git folder so this is basically just linking both of them together i'm going to copy this command and come here and paste that there and that should work so to check which repository which cloud repository your folder your local folder is currently linked to you can do a git remote v oh sorry git remote v so this is telling you the remote the cloud storage folder you are currently linked to let's clear this again before it gets too busy again git remote v will show you where you are currently connected to so we are connected to the right folder in our github account and everything is now ready for deployment so let's push this to get up and by doing this it would do all of this and then tell you that this has now been done so i'll come back to my github account and refresh to see that folder in github as you can see everything has now been done and my message is here uh, saying this is the first deployment the message i attached while i was committing and this is how you can basically uh, move your project from your local machine to github 